Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Unlikely Bits. My name is John and today I'll be meeting Ari and Shaz who are animal rescuers from the Animal Concerns Research and Education Society, also known as ACUS. You must be wondering why am I holding a camera and things are a little bit different this week, right? It is because it's different because our animal rescuers are always on call during their whole shift and at any point of time, I will be grabbing the camera and going with them so the crew may not be able to follow in time. And that's why you guys will get to see me up close. So let's go find our, our, our animal rescuers. Hi guys! Hi. Hello, hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm John. And you guys? I'm Shaz. And my name is Ari. Nice to meet you. You all must be the animal rescuers that I'll be following today. Yes. Right, why don't you share with, share with me a little bit more, right? What exactly do you all as animal rescuers, what do you all do? Well, as the name suggests, we do rescue animals and most of them are usually animals in distress or right. um, they're, they're injured. Then that's where we actually attend. Well, um, now, now it's going to rain, yeah. so we can actually expect some more rescue cases. I see. You know what? I'm excited to join you guys. Yeah. Shall we head off to, uh, I don't know, where you all stay standby and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, we're going to go and check the van first. The day rescue has just come back. Right. So I'm, um, Ari's going to take over the phone while I'm going to check the van if it's, um, it's all fully equipped before we head out for our night cases. All right, let's go. Right. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so uh, as you can see, the van behind us has been started up. We're going to be moving off, so I'll be joining them as we proceed to uh, an animal rescue. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you guys in the van. Hello, hi, this is Ari. Uh, calling from Hickers. Yeah, I received a call from your sister just now say that you have a uh, Oriole fledgling, right? A uh, young bird. Yeah, okay, we are on the way to you already. So we will reach, we will reach about half an hour. Yeah, okay. Alright, thank you. I will see you there. Thank you. Bye. So now we are at the residence area and we're going to be rescuing an uh, Oriole. And the concerned family, they're very nice. They're, they're waiting for us with their doors open. So we're gonna go have a conversation with them and, and then yeah. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so this is the, the real situation, okay? So we're gonna follow Ari. And then uh we're gonna follow Ari. Okay, so right now, right, Ari is inside the house. Uh getting the getting the bird out, the fledging. So what Ari will do is basically to take the, take the bird out of the house, out of the premises and then we will assess it outside here so that we do not disturb the residents of the place. Okay, let me just show you guys the bird that Ari got out. I need to get some gloves. So this is the Oriole. It's a small little fledgling. So cool. Hi. <laughs> okay, so for fledgling Oriole, they don't stay inside the nest anymore. They will try to, you see, like how he's very active. It's a good sign that he's very healthy. Lah. And when we see him perch on the tip of the, the tub here, it's a good sign also. So best option, best decision for us to do is to put it back up at the tree where it was found. Yes, a duck. Mm, around this here. Yep. Mm, yellow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yellow color bird yeah. in the background. Alright. <laughs> so, we have a lot of enthusiastic neighbors that were part of the rescue process now. <laughs> looking at the adult Oreo. And this is actually really heartening. It, makes, it warms my heart. Not bad. Excursion, you know. 
So right now, right, Ari and Shaz are gonna start to uh, identify whether this is the tree that the baby, the fledgling Oreo came from, and then they're gonna start with the rescue process to re re redeposit the the fledgling because of course, right, with all wild animals, the best care that can be provided to the young is always provided by the parents, and we as humans, you know, we sometimes we want we are concerned that we would like to try to um, give them as much aid as possible, try to feed it, try to take care of it, but that may not be the best care that can be rendered to different species of animals and that's where we need to find the parents so that this fledgling has a chance to continue its lifespan in the wild. Okay, so we're all currently waiting for the bird to perch onto the branch so that it can stay in the tree for the night. Because that's what's best for the bird, and so that eventually, in the in the daytime, it can look for its parent. And yes, the bird has now perched onto the tree. So for now, we can leave. You can leave the bird on its to its own devices. Yes, it doesn't cry as much as no anymore. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so, uh, like what she mentioned, uh, we okay. this is uh, to actually give a chance, yeah. uh, opportunity for it to for survive again in the one. Yeah. Because if let's say you don't intervene and bring back to your home and call us, ah. uh, the bird might be attacked by a cat or run yeah. across the road oh, and get okay, okay. You know. So thank you very much for rescuing okay. the bird, okay. uh, and for you know, we give them another chance. So yeah. tomorrow maybe you can just observe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody. It is. Uh, very, very um, real and heartening to see so many Singaporeans being excited by the fact that uh, animal rescue is done like this. And I think we have to give more credit to, to Acres for the stuff that they do. And uh, yeah, you know, we gotta appreciate the, the, the animal rescuers because without them, that bird is probably not gonna last long. And I think now, uh, with it back on the tree, it's gonna have a little bit more of a chance to reach adulthood. So now, now we're going to be headed over to the location where the snake was spotted and we hear some people calling for us already so we're heading over now to, to check out the snake situation. Oi, no la, no la. Big, right? Like this, right? Uh, I don't think, I don't think here already. Yeah. 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 Jalan already. Ah, there? Yeah, so this this big of a snake, I suspect is about 3 meters. Yeah. So before this, we suspect that it went away. Yeah. But we found it here now. And it's huge. So yeah, most probably it won't go away already. He knows yeah. that we are here. Yeah. I, I will, me and Shaz, will, I will get a hit first. And then we'll try to bring the snake out. So maybe, John, what you can do, you can support the tail part. Lah. Okay? Uh, okay, John, you put on your gloves first. So this one, uh, what what we gonna do? 
Okay, just now have some uh, tick, uh, like like this, you see, coming out on that one. We let the doctor check. Lah. Doctor check, okay. Then after that, we find somewhere to release. Not near here, maybe somewhere else. Lah. Uh, safe for him to go. Yeah, okay. So next time, if you see python, don't try to catch or don't go near. Don't uh, any snake, lah. any wildlife also. If you see, you don't disturb. Uh, you got the number, right? Your friend call us. You can call us. Lah. Then we can tell you what's going I tried to help. I tried to touch the tail and then it went away. And then after that, I didn't know what to do. So I was like, okay, you know what? I better aim this torchlight. Like I never aimed torchlight before. And I was super accurate with the torchlight. Yep. Good job. So at least I shed light on the situation. Uh, I was a little bit worried because I wanted the help to support the tail. But it, because it was trying to move out of my hand, I didn't know how tightly I should have grasped it. Mm -hmm. And that's why like, I opted to let it go. I'd rather not like, I don't want to hurt the snake. Because I am clearly, I mean it's not immediately obvious but I'm untrained. Fair, fair enough, fair <laughs> yeah. enough. Because um, I mean better to let go and um, because you don't want to get injured and you do want to injure the I snake. I do not want to injure the snake definitely. because I was definitely holding a, a weaker point because so it was right, just the tip of the tail and I didn't know if I should have held on to stop it from moving because that could have hurt the snake. Okay, so now we're back at Acres and actually uh, Ari and Shaz, uh, they have their own private resting quarters. So due to privacy reasons, we're not going to be filming in there because it is basically like a little bit of a mini room, home away from home kind of situation from them. Uh, but what is happening now is that we are in the education centre of Acres. They have very kindly lent us some of these benches to take a break. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break and of course, if throughout the night, um, we get activated for animal rescue calls or any situations, we will proceed out as per normal. So, John, mm. good morning. Right now is 4.44 4, 4 a.m. Right. <laughs> okay, so what are your opinions about this animal rescue industry so far? Uh, I, I do have to say that uh, my opinion has definitely gone from uh, the good to better, definitely, because uh, I think the main thing that jumped out at me that has gained, has uh, give me newfound respect for them is that how they always put the animals as their priority, regardless of whether this is their job or not. So, this is their profession, right? But at the same time as animal rescuers, I think the mindset where they always prioritise the animal's welfare ahead of everything else, ahead of uh, other people's participation, ahead of their, sometimes even their own comfort, is something that's extremely admirable and, and rare, right? And in order for people to succeed in this line, that is extremely important. And I think as members of the public, we need to consider as well that our impatience towards uh, maybe a less than speedy response could be due to the fact that they are taking extra care while settling a previous case before attending to you guys. So I guess as regular Singaporeans, we need to have a little bit more patience towards our animal rescuers. Through this mind-blowing experience, <laughs> I got to understand our animal rescuers and their unlikely bits. Wow, morning is ayam right? and this one is ayam. <laughs> Join us next time for more unlikely bits of our unsung heroes. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye!